And welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade. Time to get some new tools. Hopefully. Provided that the RNG doesn't screw me over and give me nothing but junk. Also, speaking of junk, I still have crawfish on me. Let's start giving it away. Oh. Uh, happy birthday? Whoops, I kind of forgot it was his birthday. I forget, this, this game doesn't actually mark birthdays on the calendar. Unlike, say, more modern games, but oh well. Alright, first stop is the jewelry st uh, store. We haven't been here for a while. Actually, I don't think I've actually bought anything here other than ore. So, first things first, refine ore. Please do not turn this into junk. Yeah, that's fine. And we get... Uh... Huh. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. It only took like three tries to get enough copper to make a tool. It would have been better. I, if I was smart, I would keep resetting until I got six, but... It takes a while to walk here from where I save. So you know what? Four copper is good enough. We only need a three. Although it would be good to have three. No, we're not we're not resetting anymore. That already took three tries as it, as it was. And each try takes like several minutes to get here. Let's just get our new watering can. So then. Uh, let's see. Copper watering can. Mine. So now we can uh, water three squares at once instead of only two. Which is actually a pretty big increase. And it will speed things up quite a bit. So we're pretty much done with the mine area. Let's head over to town. Hopefully the wizard is at home. Otherwise, we're going to need to hunt him down. Because I have some cornmeal for him. And I had better not miss, because that would suck. That is one thing I'm so happy they put in like later Harvest Moon games. Dropping stuff doesn't automatically make it completely disappear anymore. Actually, wait, do I have any tea on me? I think Perry still needs some. He is only at two hearts, I believe. Let me check. Okay, yeah, I have some tea on me, but let me check his relationships. Actually, let me check all my relationships. Uh, Perry is... that's Candace. I'm starting to get some hearts with some people. Perry's only at two. Alright. Hi, Mr. Beagle. So I guess we'll stop by the church. Right after I pet the dog. Uh, where is she? Oh, hey! Oh, right, it's Sunday. Everything's closed. Well, at least I found out that the wizard's house isn't, like... Should I feed the dog the stew? No, let's not be mean. After all, that was ours. Let's just give him a fish or something. I don't remember. Do you like fish? Nope, sorry about that. Hopefully this will fix things. Okay, note to self, don't feed your dog crab. Or technically crawfish, but same type of animal. Uh, also new watering can. It's pretty. Alright, hopefully we'll hit three hearts with you soon. And Perry. I only need you guys to three hearts. And luckily hearts don't decay as far as I can tell. At least I've never had them decay in my playthroughs. Oh hey, everyone's here. What well, is Sunday? So I guess it makes sense. Have some tea. Also, if I didn't have more stuff to do, I would rub you. Uh, Hamilton, did you leave? Nope. I forget, do you like blackberries? Eh, you're okay with them. Alright, let's go see the wizard. And then I guess we'll see who's around town. Uh, nothing's open, so we can't buy anything, which is good, because I want to save money. And the temptation to buy stuff is kind of strong. Oh, speaking of buying stuff, I should have actually checked what the ac accessory shop had on them. Because I don't think we've actually bought anything from them other than, like, refining ore. I'll check next time in the area. Which could be, like, not too long from now. 
Alright, let's see if the wizard's home. His door is unlocked. Actually, now that I think about it, does the wizard actually go anywhere other than his house? No, oh, whatever. Uh, where is the cornmeal? There it is. Don't move. Thank you. And with that, we should have all the ingredients. Uh, give him the hibiscus, the butter, and the cornmeal. Are you just making bread? Is your magic pow- or your magic spell bread with flowers? Actually, can you eat hibiscus? I know you can eat certain flowers. Anyways, with all three ingredients, we can finally go cure the witch. Kinda forgot we were doing this. Well, I think this is actually one of the last characters we haven't met yet. Say hello to the witch, princess. Sorry we kind of left you as a frog for like a month. Hey, cornmeal is hard to make. Technically it worked. But yep, that is the witch princess. Technically, I think we can marry her. I'm probably not going to, but we can. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Although we do still have to ask her about the green bell, aka the reason we wanted to cure her in the first place. Well, we're right outside. We just need to walk right back in. Uh, let's see. I don't think we have to do anything else in the area, so let's just go see her. And obviously I don't want to have to walk all the way through Fugue Forest again. It takes a while to get here. Alright, princess, tell me about the bell. Well, at least she doesn't hate us. Good, because she could probably curse us. Hmm, how old? No, let's not insult her yet. Actually, I wonder how old she really is. Also, all this food in this house should have gone bad by now. Hmm, can I have it? Oh, but it's yarn. It's expensive. I can sell it. Oh, fine. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't get to keep anything she gives you. Uh, what do we have here? I don't know what that is, but no, that's not it. I think that just might be shining... some kind of shining herb. I don't really recognize the texture from this angle. Uh, what is this? Eh, no, that's not it. What else you got? But yep, she's had this entire time. We could have saved like a month if we had just decided to go through her stuff. But, that was painless. Relatively speaking. Let's go put it back. Also, I would befriend the witch princess, but it's kind of a long walk to get to her. And unfortunately, we don't really have any way to fast travel yet. Also, with a new bell, we get a new sprite. A 
a very sleepy looking sprite. I like Darren. I don't know why. Maybe it's because green is my favorite color. Oh yeah, we should probably actually put it on the frame before we ring it. Well, we know where that is at least. Oh, whoa. Okay, Sparrow. Anyways, let's go to the frame. It's over at uh, Horn Ranch. Which is right outside Fugue Forest, so it's not going to be that long of a walk. Also, yep, wait, did we give Renee her gift today? I think we did. Oh yeah, we did, never mind. Have to remember from like a week ago. Oh, speaking of Renee, I forgot. I want to check my relationships. Especially since I can't talk to anyone in town now that we kind of got work here. Hamilton, why don't we have a heart yet? Why do you hate me? Everyone else is... Okay with me. Renee's really okay with me. Uh, but I'm curious. Are we missing anyone? I think we're only missing like one or two more characters. But for the most part, we pretty much unlocked everyone in town. But yeah, for some reason, Hamilton still doesn't like me. I mean, I don't think I've done anything horrible to him. I paid back my debt. Yeah, it's kind of weird we still don't have a heart, considering he's like one of the people I've actually been consistent with giving stuff to. Oh well, speaking of giving stuff... Let's give Kane a Blackberry. The, the fruit, not the phone. That would be really expensive if you had to give away, like, electronics to people. Oh, speaking of electronics, we need to get a phone at some point, uh, once it becomes unlocked. Because the phone gives us some pretty good crops. Alright. Let's see, Green Bell goes into Green Arch. Hopefully the people of Horn Ranch aren't going to be annoyed with the giant bell in their windmill. Then again, it's supposed to have been here for a while. Yes, Darren. Go back to sleep. No, I, I didn't mean it. You know what? We'll come back. You know what? Screw it. I want to be immortal. Or not. Yeah, he's not gonna let you. Just go back to sleep. Fine, I'll say the right thing. It's a but thou must situation. And with that, we have four bells done. There's one more left to do. Also, the wind works again. Even though, honestly, the wind has been working really well lately. But, that's four down, one to go. Last one's a doozy, though, so that's gonna take a while. Oh. Oh. Hi, Gil. What are you doing here?
Um, I had to grow... Actually, we did do a lot to get the green be uh, bell. Oh, at least you're being thankful about it. And with that, we have four bells down. One more to go. Problem is, we don't really know where it is. Well, I know someone who would know. We should probably go ask the Harvest Goddess at some point. But not now. We're probably going to do that in the morning. Also, I think we broke your windmill, judging by the sounds it's making. But yeah, wind is fixed now. This actually doesn't have any effect in game at all, I don't think. Actually, that is one problem I have with this game. None of the bells actually do anything other than, like, the blue one, which, like, unlocks the island. Oh well. Let's head back home. We actually got a lot done today, and I want to test out my new watering can. Because half my field is still unwatered. Also, wait. Is there anything I want to give away while I'm here? Nah, I think we're good. Also, I need to plant that sugar cane. I don't know why I still have that. Oh, right. I think I'm like one. I bought one too many seeds. Oh, well. And I'll double check my cherry trees to make sure I uh, picked all my cherries for the day. I do want to plant some more fruit trees, but I don't think they're going to grow in time for like fall. And I don't think any of them grow in winter. I'm not sure. I'll double check. Uh, once I get the chance to go back to Marimba Ranch. Technically, it's Marimba Farm since they don't raise animals, but oh well. Apparently, that is the difference between a ranch and a farm. A farm does crops and a ranch does animals. And probably crops, too. Anyways, new watering can. Uh, I don't think it comes pre-filled, does it? Well, just in case. So then. Now we can water three. It's going to make things go a bit faster and use less energy overall. Also, I think in like uh, Tree of Tranquility, you can shake the Wiimote to make it charge faster. In this game, it doesn't actually work. Because I have tried it. In fact... Yeah, it's not working. Still charges the same amount. Also, I need to be careful. My chickens are in the area. Don't want to get them wet. Birds in general don't like to get wet. Well, some birds. But anyways, I think we'll... Karen, get out of here. I think we'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade, we have one more bell to go. And then we've beaten the game, probably. So, till then. I am just going to finish watering my crops and hopefully not hitting my chickens. <laughs>